Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing the monster Tuska. You can obtain this mythic in the current bounty hunt. There's still time, so go ahead and get it. Um, so it is obtainable for you to play. And today, I'll be doing a review from level 1 to 100. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, if you're done. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I went ahead and crafted this monster. It is ready to hatch. I think I have a slot open in my hatchery. No, I don't? Okay, well, I thought I did because it took some time. And then it, tell, it told me that I don't have a spot open. Here we go. Alright, so we got the egg here and for the purpose of the video i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up we have one blue slot open oh man that really sucks so it is an earth monster it is in the villains book it looks like i'm gonna place it in one of the habitats instead of placing it in a vault okay um so this monster kind of reminds you of angway by the way all right so it's just a bunch of uh mini tuscas basically running at the enemies all right cool so we have the monster here as you guys can see and we can actually ascend it because i have enough cells take a look at the traits you have hardened um which is actually quite decent and then you have immune to nightmares not so good then you have 25 percent damage boost it is just to himself of course so he basically gets a 50 percent uh or not 50 percent it's actually 25 percent i don't think i've ever seen 25 percent actually like before this is, I think, my first time. Uh, 25% damage boost. I thought it was 50%. Okay. So, that's interesting. Why didn't they just give him, like, a 50% damage boost instead? His ultimate is puppies are hungry. Applies bleed hater to itself and bleed to all enemies. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. So, bleeding hater, that's actually pretty good because the thing with that is, um, what should I call it? So... The bleeding hater, right? It gives you triple damage and it also applies bleeding to the enemy. So basically next turn you'll be hitting them with triple damage, which is really good. So anyways, we are going to feed this monster up, get it to level 100 real quick, just like this. Now that we have it to level 100, take a look at the stats, guys. You get about 10,439 power, 130,401 life, and 7,382 speed, which is actually pretty good. Um, so good stats, I like that. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and actually get into the skills real quick. So Hunter Hunted, it's a massive earth damage to an enemy, applies bleeding to an enemy, requires cooldown. You're basically getting that... Um, Massive earth damage and on top of that you're applying bleeding to the enemy as well. Then you have Howl to the Moon which is a 25% damage boost to himself. Gains an extra turn. Okay, so you're getting that 25% damage boost with the extra turn. So you can go ahead and equip this, especially if this monster is not rank 3 for you yet. Uh, you do want to go with that 25% damage boost because the thing is, this monster gets his 25% damage boost status caster at rank 3. Alright, and we don't have that yet. Then you have an AoE earth damage that also applies bleeding. We could actually go with that. And let's see what else we have here. Night Hunt, which applies Bleed Hater and Evasion to himself. Ooh, interesting. Hold on. Let me see here. Uh, we already have a Bleeding. We have the 20% damage boost with the extra turn. Then you have another Bleeding. And then you have the Bleeding Hater plus Evasion. Oh boy. All right. Uh, then you have Follow the Trail, which is a Bleed to all enemies. Gives an extra turn. Yeah, you know what? I might actually go with this. Now the thing is, you can either go with the Massive... Earth damage skill, or you can go with the AoE one. But if you want to go for both, then you can probably swap the follow the trail with Night Hunt. The thing with this, here's the thing, okay? If you do have Blood Puppeteer, then I highly recommend running the follow the trail with these other bleeding skills right here, okay? But if you don't have that, you can go ahead and swap the Night Hunt with this because you're going to be gaining that triple damage with the evasion. And if the enemy has bleeding, next turn you can go ahead and hit him very heavily because you have that bleeding hater which gives you that triple damage now this deals damage and then you gain the 25% damage boost i'd rather get the 25% damage boost with the extra turn so i'm gonna keep that and then these other two i mean you do it's nice having that zero stamina with zero cooldown so you can kind of spam the skill if you want to run it it's really up to you but i think i'm gonna keep this all right let's take a look at the relics oh by the way it's not rank one you know what we are going to get it to rank one right now though for the purpose of this review, we are going to spend that 25 gems. So it would be appreciated if you guys could drop a like on this video because we're going to be spending some gems here and there, you know what I mean? And I can't really get these gems back. So let's go ahead and get the mythic. Um, Earth should be somewhere. In oh, I do not. I don't have enough cells. Are you kidding me? Okay, just for the purpose of this review, I'm going to do it. 118. Let's do it. Just for the purpose of this video, because I want to unlock this right here, this talent. So, for the talents guys, I highly recommend giving Blood Puppeteer. This is like one of the best to give him. Um, if you have that, go ahead and give it. 
on top of that there is also a hidden ship that you can go with phase shield also works out and frequency gauntlet that would be the last thing that you could give in all right oh yeah lastly power armor power armor also works out i'm gonna go with this though you have a mask as one of your options so here's the thing you can either go with eelshaw's mask Walter's mask you can do walter's mask and Talon's mask or even Jazzy's mask that also works out if you want to do Fury mask that also works out uh, so literally all these masks that you see here right over here you can go with whichever one you want I'm gonna go with Balter's mask because I want to buff his power a little all right the thing with Balter's mask though uh, because I, I feel like it's gonna go to waste though because I'm gonna do my 25% damage boost right and then I have to play bleeding to them so kind of defeats a purpose you know what I mean like you don't have the control when to trigger it, you know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna just go with Eeltron's Mask in that case then. Uh, I could do Wingsuit Sword or Laser Beam Sword. So here's the thing guys, you can go with whichever one of these swords that I'm gonna mention to you guys. Do Wingsuit Sword if you have that, you have Laser Beam Sword, go ahead and give it. Lastly, Cane Sword, okay? I'm gonna do Laser Beam Sword because I'm, I don't have a, a Baltar's Mask over there equipped. So let's go ahead and take this Monsters 2 Adventure Map. Uh, before we actually do that, I'm gonna go ahead and feed it up because we did get it to rank 1. Might as well go ahead and feed it up, you know what I mean? Why not? So here we go, level 110. Take a look at the stats, guys. And for the purpose of this video, I'm also going to go ahead and remove those rune slots. And we are going to bring this monster up. So here's what you want to give. You want to go with 1 speed with 2 strength, okay? So if you have a 1 speed and 2 strength, go ahead and give it. And if you don't have something like this, another thing that you could do would be 2 speed and 1 strength. This also works out, okay? But me, personally, I'm going to run 2 strength and 1 speed, just like that. Alright, now that this monster is ready, let's go ahead and take it to Adventure Map. Alright, let's go ahead and enter this one, for example. Alright, so, take a look at this. We have Blood Puppets here equipped. We have Yeltron's Mask and also Laser Beam Sword. So we're going to go ahead and enter this. And we have, we have the power as well from the Beast. We're going to go ahead and charge up. Okay, so just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and apply the Bleeding to all of them first. So follow the trail. We apply bleeding to two of them. Unfortunately, the other one has an artifact, so that won't really work out. But look at that. Blood Puppets here kicked in, and it actually dealt damage to the random one. It actually doesn't even matter. Yeah, because it applies uh, or it deals a damage to a random enemy. So it doesn't even matter if, if it actually applies to this monster or not. You know what I mean? Because even though it's an artifact, it applies to a random enemy. It deals that damage. Now look, I haven't used any skills that deal damage, and I also dealt, already dealt damage to that monster. I could do the 25% damage boost, which gives me another extra turn. And look at this, Blood Puppets here, second use, kicked into a random enemy just like that. And now what I can do is I can use my AoE skill, for example, or I could do a single target, doesn't really matter. Let's do the AoE, for example, just like that. Now watch this. Okay? So we could either do Blinding Punch, or we could let this monster get a turn in, and then Blood Puppets here will kick in and deal some damage. Here's what I mean. Look at this. 25,000 shield, just like that. And it still has about 17k life there. And then we'll just finish it off with Blinding Punch. Um, I thought there would be a third wave or second wave, but I guess not. Uh, but you guys see what I mean here, right? Um, let me see if I could actually try it on a different monster that's not an artifact. Alright, I want to try it on a different base this time. Um, once again, it doesn't really matter who you apply the bleeding to. Because it's just going to kick in randomly. So even, even if there's like two artifact monsters that you can't apply bleeding to or if they're immune to bleeding for example and the other one is just vulnerable and you could actually apply it to them then it still works out okay so you can go with display so i'll do this i'll charge up and once again right away you want to apply the bleeding to them just so that blood puppets here kicks in deals damage and then here you do the 20 percent damage boost which is another extra turn skill and look blood puppets here kicked in again and eliminated that monster uh, apparently it's supposed to be random but it actually just kicked in and eliminated that one <laughs> unlucky so we'll do this, we'll do this, and look, Blood Puppets here kicked in again because um, it just kicks in whenever the enemy has bleeding in them, you know what I mean? So here I could save myself by doing the Pyrophobic Shield, so he'll deal zero damage. Oh, never mind, he went through that. But I don't think, yeah, I was gonna say, that's not gonna kick in because there's a uh, Phantom. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Alright, so we could charge up. Can we remove all the status effects from the enemy? We can. So there goes that. Now the bleeding doesn't really matter now, does it? Um, oh, I have another idea. Here's what we could do. I think this will be a lot better. Let's go with um, this monster here. Okay, so here's the thing. We could go with the Bleed Hater with Evasion. But he doesn't have any other extra turn skills. Um, and then we could maybe swap the Night Hunt with Feed the Herd. So let's give this a go. See how this goes, actually. 
Um, let me just attack someone random here, like a random team that is not two wave, just one wave. I think this is the same exact one that we attacked earlier. Alright, so take a look at this. Just a random team that I came up with, of course, one of them includes this monster. We're gonna go on a fight. Now, you can even do triple speed, kind of, or two speed in one string. That would be better because you won't be dealing any damage for a bit. Because Blood, Blood Puppeteer is going to be dealing most of the damage for you in the beginning, you know what I mean? Unless you still want to go with it. So let's go ahead and charge up here. Take a look at this. We apply the bleeding to all of them. Wait for it. That kicked in. We do either the evasion or 25% damage boost. Let's go with the 25% damage boost. Look at this. Blood Puppeteer kicks in. Deals 25k damage. We go with evasion plus the bleeding hater. So look at this. I'll let them get a turn in. Even if there was no Mega Taunt. Even if they went ahead and attacked my monster there, the um, attacker, right, uh, Tuska, they can't really deal any damage because of uh, the evasion. The evasion is protecting me. Now look at this. I have all of this here. Look at this. It's literally just a one tap. <laughs> look at that. Um, and if there was bleeding in them, then it would have dealt even more damage. But unfortunately, this monster ended up cleansing it. So that really sucks. Alright, so just like that. Protect. Uh, we could just do this for fun. We could do bleeding to them again. Blood puppeteer kicked in. Why didn't it kick in? It was supposed to kick in. I mean, there's bleeding right there. We can do an extra turn. There we go. Charge up. I think I had total blind right there. All right, converting words. Uh, let's go ahead and do this for fun. We can do blood hunt or just one tap them. Let's one tap light like that okay that missed on me because i have the hardened trait there so here's the thing i could do the bleeding again and i think i oh yeah the blood puppeteer i used all four of them so i can't really do that again but i could do this just to get an extra turn and then this will be off cooldown and we could use it again and just like that that's how you do it and i ended up getting three stars apparently um anyways guys so you guys see this monster in action let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him uh, but that's going to be pretty much it thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out